So, um, so I think we should right now start with what we have to do with, with the image it, uh, the most the thing we have in priority and that's the git tool chooser. And uh, uh, so the status with git tool chooser is that it's uh, the business logic is mostly done. I think uh, Fran has reviewed the latest commits and uh, Apart from one or two uh, optimizations, he was saying that we could do. He was saying that functionally the uh, PR looks okay, and I have added six test cases, automated test cases, where I uh, so the cases they range from using um, existing cache. If we have cache, uh, it calculates the size. Then we have cases where we have one extension, uh, two extensions, or if an extension is throwing an exception. So I have some cases, I've, I've covered uh, some of the basic cases for the, the class. I, I, I'm sure that we need more cases there. Uh, now, the, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the major blocker I uh, was uh, thinking uh, with, the, with that PR uh, for merging it was that uh, it does not um, stop, uh, it, doesn't, it, it recommends JGIT when it should not. So we're not, we were not uh, looking for uh, LFS checkout and Spark checkout. And at the, for those extensions, we need to, uh, we need not to recommend JKIT. So for that, I've come up with a solution. I haven't uh, submitted it, but I just wanted to um, discuss it quickly so that I just know that I'm going to the right direction. So I, uh, so what I have done is that I was looking at. So it's since uh, both of them, uh, the Git LFS pull and these fast checkout. Uh, both of them are uh, Git SEM extensions. So what we can do is that we can um, add another responsibility, give another responsibility to the Git tool chooser that it uh, it asks the. Uh, so what we do is uh, just a second. I have the Git SEM extension class. I need to open it. So we decorate our uh, clone command, checkout commands, uh, and uh, another. Uh, many other operations we need uh, for whom we need to modify the behavior. So we could add another decoration tool here where we decorate the tool, uh, the Git tool. So what we do is that uh, while we are, uh, we are in the process of recommending the Git tool, we could search for the extensions available, ex uh, Git SEM extensions in the project. And then uh, since this will be implemented by two uh, extensions and that would be LFS pull and the Spark ch uh, Spark checkout. I could ask for, uh, so what I was thinking was to ask for a map which would have uh, implementation and a Boolean which would tell if the implementation is supported or not. So for Spark checkout, it would say get true, j get false. And for get LFS, it, was, it would also say the same thing. And then uh, in my git tool chooser, I would check if my the recommendation I have given if if the boolean for that uh, recommendation is false from that from the from this iteration of extension and checking, uh, then I would not recommend jgit. Or I have I've kept it general. If for any case in the future, I'm not sure if git has. Uh, of course, git doesn't. Uh, there's no functionality which Git would not wear because Git is providing the functionalities. J Git, J Git would have to clone them, but still, I've I've kept it general. If for some any case Git is uh, Git has it, it's 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 a case where Git should not be uh, recommended, we could uh, add that to the map. Now my concern, I think, while discussing it is since this is a fairly new thing I was developing, so I've I've come up with a problem with my own solution right now. And that is that what if multiple extensions are giving different decisions? That would be a problem. What if someone says JGIT is false, it's not supported, but some other for the other extension, it is, it is supported. And if it's implemented there, that would be a problem. If it's not, ideally, it should not be implemented where the extension doesn't have to worry about support, supporting an implementation or, or not. But uh, I guess that could be a concern. So I'm, I'm, not I'm, tr sure. I'm, tr I'm trying to comprehend here. So the, the responsibility to know, uh, by the way, as, as a word of warning, there are more 
Git SCM extensions that are not implemented in JGit than just the two that are listed. So okay. uh, it, 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 there are, there are, it's, it's sparse checkout is not implemented. There are several others. So, okay. so it, this is, it, it's not just a case of two. There will be multiple. There are, there are more than that. Okay. Uh, and so I think that what you were proposing is that the responsibility to answer the question, does this Git SCM extension work with JGit or is this implemented with JGit is, is delegated to the extension or are you seeing it would be handled by the, by the Git tool chooser to, just to know which extensions are, are implemented and which aren't? With the extension. Okay, so it's in the extension. So, so the, the JGit implementation that put today puts up an ugly error message and says sparse checkout is not supported or something like that somehow needs a way to inform git tool chooser that yes. i i'm jgit i can't do what you want to do you must not pick me yes and i was thinking as a string and a boolean map something like that okay. passing that information using a map uh, with the string would be the implementation and uh, the boolean would be the uh, the support if it's supported or not So for an example, I was looking at git LFS pull. So we know here that, um, so we, so this LFS remote is the variable, which tells us if, uh, if for Jager it's, it's not, uh, we don't, I think I was looking at some implement, I was looking at Jager's implementation and for Jager, this is null or, uh, the point is that we, uh, we, at this extension, we could have the information where we know that J, uh, JGit can be supported by this extension or not. But at the level of Git tool chooser, it would we would have to do a lot of work to understand if that extension. We would have to hard go some kind of a rule. I am not sure how would we know that um, the extension is supported or not. But at the extension level, uh, we already I think. Um, Oh, okay. We don't, we don't even decide at the extension level. We decided once we go to CLI Git uh, implementation or the JGit implementation. At that point, I think uh, uh, we've made the decision if at JGit, we basically just throw an exception. I, I was seeing the code. We throw exceptions when we, uh, when we see variables uh, like LFS remote or sparse checkout path. So, uh, I think the decision to delegate the responsibility to the extension, ask the extension if it's supporting or not is, is I think uh, logical in this case, instead of letting Git tool chooser getting that responsibility. Okay, so, so Git tool chooser then asks or, or has two alternatives, I guess three alternatives right now. It could choose JGit API impl, it could choose JGit API Apache impl, or it could choose CLI get API impl, right? So those are the, those are its three choices. Mm. And, and a specific job has a collection of, of Git SCM extensions associated with that job, I think, right? Where a specific checkout or a specific context where we're running, we're mm. about to use Git tool chooser to mm. offer them choices. And the choices could be at most one of three. Yes. Could we could we ask the CLI get API impl or could we give the CLI get API impl and the J get API impl the the set of extensions that are being requested and ask them do you veto your being offered as one of the get tool choices? And and I'm I'm Hmm. So back to, I'm not sure that I'm, I'm comprehending where you're envisioning you would put the, the, the knowledge of. Okay. I, I think I should explain this a little better. So let's just go to Git SCM first. So okay. um, when we're looking at Git SCM, this is the function we use to create a client. This is called uh, when we're checking out uh, a repository. So uh, for the demo, I tried this. This right now we're not. Uh, we haven't added anything where we would recommend JGit. 
uh, we would not recommend JGIT if we have LFS source pass. So here, what we are seeing is that uh, I get the I am not. Although technically this is not being used now, so usually we get the ex, uh, the executable from a function, and then so what I'm doing is I'm calling my uh, I'm calling my estimator. Uh, one second, this is yeah. So I'm calling the get tool chooser here with the URL. I take the URL from the remote config, and uh, after that I get the get tool, and I assume that it has resolved uh, the the implementation recommended with by checking if it's available or not all of that is being done and then once i have that uh, execute the recommendation then uh, this is the stage where git client uh, git client is created in the next stage but this is the functionality which creates the git client so uh, here i just put the recommendation using git exe exe and then the client is created and uh, so i i I think I would I, I would assume that once we've done that we are covering all the cases for uh, the uh, git scm uh, class anywhere a client would be created would be created with this recommendation now um, if we are talking about uh, checking if uh, if the implementation is supported by the extension or not we would um, and we would we would have to do this. Uh, we would do we would have to do that at this level only, because I because we we need to uh, instantiate get tool chooser just before the get client is being created. So I I think this is the place where we would have to uh, use the tool chooser and we would have to then um, ask the extensions if uh, they are supporting. Say, uh, so what I'm saying is, Mark, uh, that we know that it is, is this something that we can hard code that for, let's say just for Git LFS pull, we know that it's not uh, supported by JGit. Can we just not say that, okay, this is going to be false for JGit always and just return that to, um, return that to Git tool chooser and as Git tool chooser, I would be sitting and looking for, looking at the extensions and if I receive a false from anywhere, I would block the recommendation and not give anything. Yeah, and that's I think I think I think that is that is that would, if you go back to the to the function that you had there just a minute ago, the the one that was iterating extensions. Yeah, so on line eight hundred sixty eight, where it it iterates over the extensions, um, to take your your idea, I was thinking, if estimator dot get tool dot estimator dot get get tool hmm. took the uh, the argument which is the list of extensions hmm. it yeah. could conceivably then know everything it needs to about hey i know these things it, it, admittedly that's not asking jgit itself to tell us is this is this implemented but it would give us a quick way to say inside the estimator if the if the request if the extension for LFS is included, veto any use of JGIT. If the request for sparse checkout is there, veto any use of JGIT. It must always use CLI GIT. Yes. So, yes, so in, in, in that case, estimator.getGit tool would take one more argument, the list of extensions, and mm -hmm. it would just have a hard coded list inside. Now that's that's not my, my Java coding friends who actually are very good at Java coding would probably mock me terribly. So I'm, <laughs> I, I've, I've just described something to you that looks an awful lot like what a C programmer would do. And I, I apologize for doing that to you. That's, that's really bad mentoring, but, but it's that kind of thing. I think, I think the Git tool or the estimator needs to not, we, we need the estimator to not offer JGit if an extension is going to break the user, right? That, that's the, yeah. the user value. Hmm. Now, yeah. now, oh, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, I think that seems like a good way of, of uh, getting this in with, because I think you're proposing to put this in with this PR. So I think that's also a good way to get this in the PR to make sure that this works properly 
without going too far architecturally, like into the, you know, the perfect solution, I guess. Uh, but maybe that's not that far away. Uh, I like the suggestion of using the estimator and passing that in somehow. So. Yeah, would, would you object, Rishab, to trying to pass in the list of extensions to the get to to get to the estimators get get tool method and let it use a hard coded list initially? And then if we can find a better, more object oriented way to do it, we do that. But for me, passing in a hard passing it in and having it checked against a known list of problem and extensions seems simple enough for me to understand it. But I think uh, we we can have something uh, which the Git, which we do here. So what we can do is that the extensions are implementing the Git SEM extension, and mm -hmm. if we have uh, a method there, which a contract which says decorate the Git tool, which basically means that I encode the information at that level, the extension encodes that. It it is the responsibility of the extension to implement that uh, method. Uh, which is uh, to decorate the git tool and then say that okay i'm going to uh, tell you that j for jgit you cannot recommend jgit if if that extension uh, is present in, in the list of extensions available so how that would work is that let's say i have the extensions i would say uh, dot uh, decorate if it takes what i've done decorate tool i've i've already just created the sample method it would take my uh, it would take the, the tool chooser we have, which would be the estimator here. And it, what it would do is it would uh, tell the estimator that, okay, I, uh, I cannot take JGIT. And how I was planning to do that was that within the estimator class, I can include another method, uh, method, which is a simple Boolean method, which says is supported. And it takes a it takes a map. It takes a map which links the implementation to its support. So if the extension tells me that uh, maybe we can we don't need to use a map, but if the extension tells me that for a string jgit uh, false, it's false. I would just I would not my implementation. So what I do is that I check if I am recommending jgit, and if uh, the uh, extension is telling me that jgit is false, I would recommend nothing or recommend git that's i didn't think about what i would recommend after that part part because uh, then we would again have to look if if i recommend git instead of jgit i would have to look i would have to resolve it git if git is present in the node or not in the uh, machine or not but um, we we could decide that after that point but at till this point uh, instead of taking a list and then hard coding that okay for, for git lfs pool or for uh, sparse checker we're not uh, we will just not recommend jgit we could um, create a method which would it's basically doing the same thing i think but i i was just following what the git plug uh, what i have seen in the git plugin how do we modify uh, the behavior of uh, clients using the extensions that is what i've seen so um, I, I I guess I should first uh, submit this as a commit and then we could have a better discussion over this. Because I think me saying this would not 100% uh, uh, explain it clearly. Okay. I guess one question I have is like, uh, so if I think about the, the objects, uh, should the extension know about the get tool chooser? Because right now, like uh, the proposal is kind of saying that it needs to know about what a get tool chooser is. Um, well, and I, yeah. and, and I thought you had added capability to the Git SCM extension to to know something about choosers, right? Yes. So what I did was that um, I actually it's not it's just returning the tool chooser right now. But so what would happen is ideally that Git LFS pull, which is implementing the Git SCM extension, would just override this method, and um, it would. Uh, yes, it would have the object of uh, the current get tool chooser and it would add this information to that object using the utility method I have, which asks, is this supported or not? So it, if we, I think we can write it. 
Uh, what is the method? I think the method is decorate tool. So, because really the the tool, I guess, is the the actual like Git implementation is the one that knows what it supports, right? Uh, I'm sorry, Justin, I could not. Uh, uh, actually, I think I think that the individual extensions. Well, let's see. How is it? It's JGit API. I'll have to. I'll have to look. It's a good question. Yeah. I thought. I thought that the the noise about when it says, "Hey, uh, LFS is not supported," is coming from JGit API Impl, but I don't remember. Continue. It does. It does. I, I, I did. I did check uh, in the JGit API impl that it would throw an exception if uh, if LFS remote is um, found. Yeah, people might scream at me though too. But uh, I guess I'm I'm just wondering if maybe the extension should know more about implementations it can't use, uh, and then the Git tool chooser uses that information uh, so that the extensions don't have to know anything about the Git tool chooser. And the Git tool chooser already has the responsibility of choosing which, which one you're gonna go, going through all the list and then finding the optimal one. And then if that's not supported, then you can't pick that one. You have to go to, go to another one, right? Hmm. So this is what I uh, was suggest, what I had in my mind. So, so now, right now, the git LFS pull would add this method, override the method decorate tool, and would put some logic and tell me, okay, is it supported or not with the current git tool chooser object, and then return the object again. And then I can use that updated object and get the git tool and recommend the, uh, uh, but even, even if we have this functionality, we would um, hard code something like, uh, okay, for the string jgit, I am going to say it's false, something like that. We, we are going to hard code this information at this level. So it's, I'm not sure if that's a good thing to do, but. Um, yeah, so I think I you're already saying like, which implementation doesn't work in this, right? Uh, like that, yes, that hard yes. coding right there would kind of be saying that. So maybe the right way of like thinking about it is like, that's all you need to do in here. And then the Git tool chooser can maybe use that information to, to accomplish what it needs. Cause the other stuff, I guess, and I might not be understanding what you're trying to do with like the is supported. So yeah, you might be right in terms of like putting it in, uh, in the PR, but I guess I'm not sure what the other stuff would do that we would use uh, other than knowing that JGit isn't supported here. And so then the Git tool chooser would find out what's not support. Like, is this candidate? I, I understand your point. Supported? Yeah. I understand. You already have kind of the information you need, I think. Again, but, but I, like I get Mark it. said, someone might yell at me too. I'm not the main uh, principal maintainer of this. <laughs> and I'm, no, I've been in Go lately, so. <laughs> Okay, so I, I understand. Uh, so the concern would be that if we are implementing the is supported function that we are asking for this information for git LFS pull and for git for sparse checkout, then we would ha have to ask this information for every extension. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I actually did not. I think I'll, I'll raise a pull request first and uh, actually write a unit test. I, that would be the quickest way to know if this is working mm -hmm. or not, right? yeah. the best way. The, yeah. the, the other concern that I have that isn't like that big of a deal, but it is something that we try and avoid is like you're, you're putting a dependency, the extensions are going to depend on the Git tool chooser. Uh, they have to know about the Git tool chooser. And I'm not sure that that's a Git tool chooser needs to know about them also. So we have a cyclic dependency kind of, and maybe they know too much uh, about each other. I am not sure how the extensions would require to, okay. They, Cause this is by, an extension, right? Yes, this is an extension. So it it now needs to know about the Git tool chooser. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Go ahead and done. No, no, that's, that's, that's right. I, okay. 
Hmm. Okay, Again, that's probably I, not quite as big a deal as the other stuff that we were saying, but uh, you try and avoid it if you can, I think, typically. I, I understand your point. I think I've, you've had a good, I think I need to think about this more, much more than what I thought. Okay. You might find okay. something cooler than, <laughs> than those two. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yes, maybe uh, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it more. So Rishab, the, the oh. Git SCM extension has been, or, or are you okay if I ask you some other questions? Yes, Mark, please. So, so the Git SCM, I, I, I apologize for my neglect at not having reviewed your PR yet. I'm great, so grateful that Fran's done it and been working so close with you. That's wonderful. Um, That's so, okay, Mark. In the in that PR, is it is it extending Git SCM extension? Is is there an addition to Git SCM extension? I'm just going to open up the PR now to to see it. I just was wondering, is that going to affect? Okay, Git tool chooser, all all new class. Git tool chooser test. Oh, okay, so your pull request, your pull request for size estimation does not add anything to get SCM extension. Okay, good. No, I was no. I was worried that you were, you, okay, so uh, maybe then I'm back to Justin's question. Talk me through again, um, and, and talk me through again the, how do we communicate the, the non-support of a particular extension in, in one of the implementations, you're you're envisioning you were envisioning it. It would be communicated through the decorate tool facility here that you've shown us. Yes. Okay, and so it would ask the Git tool chooser based on this on the current extension Git LFS pool pull is the one we're looking at right now, right? It yes. asks the chooser, "Is this supported?" And the chooser. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's. It's actually telling. Uh, I think the uh, the name of the function is not correct. But it's. This is the information which Git tool chooser wants. It Git tool chooser would not have any idea if uh, a certain implementation cannot be implemented because of a certain reason. This is ex the extension. But the Git LFS pull. I I assume that I assumed that it would have the information. Uh, to know that it is it is not supporting Jagged, so it would it would tell. So th this way, I figured out this way to tell chooser that okay, I cannot support Jagged, and just know that, and then the chooser can decide uh, to recommend either Git or no nothing. I see. Okay, Th thank you for the clarity. I think I think I'm I'm starting to comprehend your vision. It is that the 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 git lfs pull extensions decorate tool method is called and hmm. it relies on git lfs pull to call the chooser that is passed in and tell it supported or not so it, it's yes. it's passing in hey here's a thing um, a git tool chooser now extension your responsibility is to annotate this thing as supported or not supported and if yes. it's not supported, the Git tool chooser then says, ah, I will ignore this as an alternative because it doesn't mm -hmm. support this extension that's been requested. Okay, thanks. Yes, forgive, my, forgive my being so slow to catch on. Thank you very I much. Actually, I, I think I should have uh, commented the code first. I think discussing code no. over work on the right way. Oh, this, this was, it, it, at least it helps me understand the concepts that you're, you're, you're approaching, great. Uh, it depends too. I mean, I think you're, I think you're fine to, to talk about it. We had the time too, so <laughs> it's a good discussion. Yeah. It depends, like it's always hard to figure out like when you should talk about something before you commit or whatever too, so. Yes, so Sorry. I don't think anything else, like forgive the question, but uh, as not a, not a core Git plugin maintainer, that's where my question's coming from. I, I think this is a new thing that the plugin can do in terms of who knows what the capabilities are, like in terms of who knows what Git tool has what capabilities, right? 
Right, right. Today, okay. today the plugin, the plugin is actually quite stupid, in that it has <laughs> at least three or four different ways of informing the user that a particular extension isn't going to work. And it's embarrassing how many different ways it has. Let's see. In some cases, it will the extension will throw an exception if you ask it to use something. In others, it just prints a polite little message in the log and says, I'm ignoring your request. And, and what Rishab is, sh is showing is that that stupid way of doing things, that poor way of doing things really needs to be sanitized and brought to a consistent level because the Git, the Git tool chooser needs to know Whereas before, no, nothing else needed to know. Now something does need to know. And so he's found a concept that mm -hmm. it, it's actually hidden all over in the, in the plugin. It's an embarrassing in how many different ways it's hidden. It's, let's see, throw an exception or just give a message or don't do anything, just silently ignore it. And, and those are all completely inconsistent. And of course, because of the history of the plugin, we have to retain them as completely inconsistent in their behavior, because otherwise somebody will be broken who depended on that bizarre behavior. And I guess that is the same reason we cannot just recommend JGit for someone who is assuming that Git is going to be implemented for uh, a, a particular use case, because then uh, we would break uh, a lot of use cases, right? If right. you're not considering that. Right. If if they if they if they ask for the sparse checkout extension, and we know that JGit doesn't implement it, and they will howl and complain correctly, so that all of a sudden we put a lot more data into their workspace that they never intended to be there. Mm, that's correct. <laughs> and, and and they won't care how much faster we are because we we broke them completely. You filled up the disk. Right, exactly. <laughs> so I think if I understand correctly though too, I think the extensions also are primarily what would know like kind of what capabilities a tool would have at this level, right? Now, that's usually where you would be handling what what's compatible with what you're trying to do or not, right? Nice. Yeah, so, so as an example, Rishab, is git LFS pull, the class, and forgive my not having it immediately on mine, but is git LFS pull, the class, that is an implementation that is for both JGit and CLI git, or is that only for one of the two? Um, that is something else. So for git LFS pull, I know that it's an ex it extends the git SEM extension, and then okay. once we have to use, I uh, what I've seen in the code is that uh, this variable called the LFS remote, it's included in both JGit and uh, the CLI Git implementation. But in the case of JGit implementation, I think it, it checks if it's not null, then it uh, throws an exception. It, it, it checks okay. the, this throws an exception. So, so, so to Justin's point, get LFS pull is the extension, but it's actually not doing the implementation, it's relying on JGit API impl or on CLI Git API yeah. impl to do yeah. the implementation. So, so this thing, Git LFS pull, doesn't actually know that JGit doesn't implement it. So all yeah. the knowledge yeah. about what's implemented or what isn't is inside JGit API impl class or yeah. CLI Git API impl class. Yes, it would, uh, this extension would uh, configure the LFS remote variable nonetheless. It, it doesn't care about the implementation. As Mark has said, only the, the once we reach to the point where we are implementing the particular, uh, when we're checking out the repository and if we have to uh, check LFS remote, uh, in terms of JGit, it would throw an exception, Git would, CLI Git would do it, perform. So it That's doesn't... It is being... Oh, go ahead. Yes, Mark. Doesn't, yes, Mark, I, I'm sorry. Doesn't that hint that decorate tool, what you may want to consider is, is should we, instead of asking the extension, are you supported, should we ask the implementation, CLI Git or JGit API impl, because that's where the knowledge is right now. It's embarrassing that the knowledge is, is there, right? It's, it's awkward and flawed that the knowledge is there instead of in the extension, but that's where the knowledge is. So, so maybe we should ask the implementation rather than the extension 
are you are are you a val are you still a valid implementation based on this set of extensions? Well, yeah, I, that I actually kind of seems to make sense, really. Uh, yeah. Would the implementation also? It's like if you had a Git command line, would that implementation be like a versioned uh, Git tool, like a Git one point eight versus it, a Git two point two? It it could be, but it is it is that's a that's a user decision <laughs> uh, at the and and then that's even more complicated. That's something we haven't touched on at all. It is allowed to have multiple input, multiple, what do you, multiple Git tools, but the code right now makes the decisions about capabilities at runtime very, very late. It asks the specific Git implementation, what's your version, and then senses based on that version number. Yeah, I mean, I actually kind of like your suggestion of having it with the tool, because the tool should know what it what it supports right like i'm not suggesting that we get this version level thing but taking this even further you could say like git 1.85 doesn't support like this new thing right. that you want in git 2.2 and then you won't pick that one you would pick 2.2 if that's available or you'd say i don't have anything that supports this right and and, Sorry. and the the use case you're describing is very very real centos 7 as the is the poster child fully supported production operating system used all over the world with git 1.8 and <laughs> yeah, yes <laughs> all sorts of people use it right i mean and but latest debian release git 2.20 uh latest windows version 2.28 you know so so and and yeah we've got a wide range of, of version numbers and I hope in some future day to drop support completely for Git 1.8. <laughs> but you know that that's not going to happen until CentOS 7 is dead and long <laughs> after that. So, so in a decade. <laughs> exactly. 10 years, if we're lucky. <laughs> okay, so, so Rishab, okay. I'm not sure that my inputs anyway have, have helped you a bunch but I hope they've helped a little as you consider where should the question be answered? Is this capability available or not? Yeah, and, I think it does help a little bit, yeah. I, I, will look, I will check how uh, I can access this information from JGate API implementation. Uh, yeah, and, and my guess there is you're gonna, you're gonna look inside that code and you're gonna shake your head in disbelief. Mark, wait, <laughs> Nicola, Kosuke, how did any of you think this was acceptable to do it this way? That, that's, yeah, welcome to the world. Yep. Well, code bases that live a long time generally will have some, <laughs> some skeletons in their closet. Right. You, you, are, <laughs> you are in a skeleton zone. <laughs> does, okay, this, so, uh, uh, does this have an interface or, a, or uh, does it inherit from an abstract class? I, I don't need to go there. You'll you'll it, figure that it out. It does. It it does, and I'm not sure you want to mess with that, but that's up to you. Yes, there are several, right? Because there was a Git API that was implemented many years ago, and and it provides one thing, and it's all deprecated, but critically important. And so, yes, there are interfaces. No, I don't know if that will help in this case. Rishab's okay. Rishab's the man. He's got this. He'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll, I'll try my best, Justin. So, um, okay, so I looked into this then. I think uh, time is up for the discussion, but- Oh, um, yes, and I apologize. I've got another meeting that I'm supposed to be in, so I am sincerely sorry. Yes, you're right, that's okay. time is up. Okay, so that's okay. I uh, The one thing that I wanted to discuss was uh, what we want to do for this phase, but that's something we can discuss uh, I think after, uh, right now I have worked with the Git tool chooser, so I can do that. I'll not be blocked by anything. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so Wednesday, that. a Wednesday topic then on more detailed planning. Is that okay? Yes, Mark. Yeah. Great. We'll have All right. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Great okay. job again on the demo. Oh, this yes, too. every job. <laughs> it is a treat Thanks. working with you. Thank you. Thank you. You make this so much fun. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mark and Justin. You, your help has been great for me.